In the last couple of lectures, we learned how to implement inheritance between two function constructors and between two classes. Now in this lecture, let's see how to implement inheritance between two objects using object.create method. From our previous lectures, we know that when we use object.create method to create an object, to that object.create method, we need to pass a prototype object. So in this example, this person object will act as a prototype object. Now this person object has two methods, this calcage method and this person init method. This calcage method will return the age of the person based on his birth year. And this person init, you know, this method is used to set name, birth year and gender property on an object. Now, let's create an object. Let's call it employee. And let's create this employee object using object.create. And to this object.create, let's pass this person object as its prototype object. Okay, so now this object.create will create an empty object and that object will inherit this calc age and this person init method. And to prove this, let's log this employee object in the developer console. Let's save the changes. And here you can see this employee, this employee object is an empty object. And if I expand this object, you will see that this object has this proto property. And in this proto property, we have this calc age and this person init method. Now, where are these methods defined? It is defined in the person object. So that means now this employee object is inheriting this calc age and this person init method from this person object. Okay. Now let's do one more thing. Let me first comment this console.log statement from here. And on this employee object, let's set a method and let's call it init or let's call it employee init. Okay. And we will use this employee init method to set properties on an object, just like we are doing for person init. Okay. So to this, let's assign a function and this function to this function, we will pass the value for the properties. So for the employee, we want to have name, birth year, gender, employee ID, and salary property. Okay. And inside this, you know, employee init method, let's set these properties on this variable. So we can say this dot name equals name this dot birth year equals birth year and let's also do the same thing for other properties okay now here if you notice this employee is an you know this employee object is inheriting this calc age and person init method from this person object right and in this employee init method we are doing the same thing. So we are setting the name, birth year and gender property like we are doing inside this person init method. So instead of doing it like this, because here we are violating the dry principle. So instead of doing it like this, what we can do is we can call this person init method of this person object. And since this employee is inheriting these methods, we can simply call this person init on this employee object. So we can say employee dot person in it okay now we also need to pass the values for this name birth year and gender property i mean gender parameters right now from where we will get those values now when we call this employee in it that time we will have to specify this name value for this name birth year and gender parameter along with employee id and salary so we can pass these parameters to this person in it method okay and this should be it now here we have a problem and i will show you that so let's do one thing let's first create an object based on this employee object so 
let's create mark object and we are again going to use object dot create to create this object okay and this employee object will act as the proto object for this object dot create let's log this mark object in the developer console mark let's save the changes and here you can see an empty object has been logged and if i expand this empty object has this proto property and if i expand this proto property you will see that we have this employee init method why is that that is because now this mark object is inheriting properties and methods of this employee object because we have passed this employee object as the prototype object for this object dot create okay and that's why this mark object is inheriting this employee init method okay now we can call this employee init method to set properties on this mark object right so this let's say this mark is an employee so for this employee we want to set name birth year gender employee id and salary property so for that we can say mark dot employee init and this employee init method is expecting values for name birth year gender employee id and salary so let's pass that let's say name is mark uh, birth year 1990 gender is male then employee id let's say 301 and salary maybe 24000 okay let's save the changes now and if i expand this mark object now you will see that we only have two properties set but here we have passed values for name birth year gender employee id and salary then why only employee id and salary is set and not name birth year and gender let's understand this now here we are calling this person init method on this employee object okay so when this person init method will be called inside this person init method this variable will point to employee object right so here this variable is pointing to employee object that means the name birth year and gender property will be set on employee object and not on mark object got it now let's do one thing let me log this employee object again in the developer console so let's say console.log and let's log employee let's save the changes if i expand this employee you will see that this for this employee object this birth year gender and name property has been set why is that that is because we are calling this employee init on employee object that means inside this i mean we are calling this person init on this employee object that means inside this person init method this variable will point to employee object and not mark object but what do we want here we want this variable to point to this mark object because we want to set this name birth year gender employee id and salary property on mark object and not employee object right so for that again we will have to explicitly set the value of this variable inside this person in it and how can we do that we can again use call method and the first argument of the call method is the object to which we want to set this variable to now here when we are calling this employee init on this mark object inside this employee init method this variable will point to mark object and that's what we are passing here when we create another object using this employee object in that case this variable will point to that object okay now if i save the changes now you can see this mark object has this birth year employee id gender name and salary property and it has this proto property now this proto property is the employee object okay and inside this proto property we have this employee in it and we have another proto property so this employee is inheriting from person object so this proto property is this person object okay so this is how we can implement inheritance between two objects using object.create method now if you have any question from this lecture then feel free to ask it that's all from this lecture thank you for listening have a great day